So, part two to my experience at Train Store. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notification. So, anyways, anyways, that kind of put me a little bit, like, off edge. Like, well, not really off edge, but, like, I want to stand, I want to stand. And then finally, only the bells tell everyone to get up and jump. Um, and I'm sitting down because, like, I, my dad won't let me, like, get up. And he's like, you can get up and jump for this part. So I, like, get up and jump and stuff. Um, because the people behind us, like, couldn't see. And then finally, they didn't say anything directly to him. He overheard them talking. And I generally think that what was going on was that the mom behind us, who had, like, a couple kids with her, and then there was some guy, like, maybe, like, a dad or something, and basically, like, I think she was trying to get her kids to, like, stand up, because I was standing up, and, like, you know, I think she was just trying to get them to stand up, and, like, dance, and then... Then all of a sudden, and like sit back down, and then the bells were like done, and then we had like a massive like break before JoJo came on. Then JoJo came on, and I was expecting like X O D Pop to like kind of not happen right away, like kind of later. Which by the way. I'm going to tell you something at the end. So, generally, only I was excited and I just didn't want to sit the whole time. I want to get up, I want to dance, and really live out a dream of mine. And so, generally, what happened was, generally, what happened was, and that then. We basically, like, got, well, from that point when JoJo came on, my dad told me I could get up, because he, and he explained that at that point it's anyone's game, like, I, so, like, I got up and I stood, I danced the whole time. I did not sit down again. I generally did not sit down again. I followed JoJo's three tour rules. She had three, like, Pacific rules for a tour, which was, number one, um, the seats are comfy, but they're not for sitting. They're not meant to be used, like, for sitting. Like, maybe, like, you can put your stuff in your seat, but, like, not to be used. Number two, um, that we all had to, like, get up and dance. And number three, and there's a song that we know that she's performing. We got to sing it. I followed all those rules. And generally, I cried. That's, like, generally what I was going to tell you at the end. I, like, generally, like, know what happened when, uh, when JoJo came on. I started to, like, almost, like, cry. And I'm like, nope, you're not doing this. And then, like, trying to suck. And I was like, I, I literally did this really quick, and like, mm. I love this thing. And then, basically, like, the show actually was, like, mind-blowing, amazing, like, that's an understatement, like, and basically... Basically, what generally happened was that, uh, basically what happened was, and the, uh, the show, like, went on, like, I loved it, like, I danced, I sung, like, there's kind of not much to explain there, and she did, like, one, like, I want to say one main, like, I want to say one number, Maybe two. Uh, 
and then she like, I, and then she like said like the state and all of that, which I'm not, and she went like, I, do I have a surprise for you? And I already knew, um, like what the surprise was. And then she was like, I, so in 2021, me and my mom created something. We created a girl group, XO and Z Pop, and they are here tonight to perform. And then she went like down in the stage and it was like, they start performing and I almost fell backwards. Not joking when I say that, like, I literally almost fell backwards. And, and that kind of was for two reasons. Number one, there was a lip in the floor. Or so, like, I will have, like, a spot in the floor that was, like, not the most even thing ever. And also, number two, um, it, number two being the fact that, like, I, it, like, I was just so excited and so happy, like, I, so, yeah, like, that situation. And, and then XMD Pop, like, finished performing, and then, like, the show went on, and then they came up on stage again, and they danced back up for Bop. And then, like, the whole show was amazing, and then, literally, like, after the show, like, I literally, so the entire thing was, like, the show was just so amazing, I don't want to get, like, a lot of sports. Or we actually got to see Jojo's mom, Jessalyn Siwa. Um, we didn't get to meet her, but she was sitting at the sound booth. And unfortunately, her dad was not there, I don't think. Because there was like a spot next, next to where Jojo's mom was supposed to sit. And, and it was completely empty, like the entire show. But it was really amazing. And, and then, after, literally at the very end of it, they pop like, confetti went everywhere. And don't worry, I got two pockets full. Like, I got two, like, nice pockets full of confetti. And then, don't worry, that's not all. Like, so, like, basically, it went, there were, like, these giant, let me actually just show you. One giant. Two giant, like, things of confetti. And basically, like, a bunch of, like, security people were, like, handing them out, like, to the kids. Because they, like, fell on the floor, like, in a spot where no one, like, was sitting there weren't see. So, like, everyone in, like, like, kind of my row was, like, getting me. And my dad, all, like, asked one of them, like, hey, can you hand her one? And they're like, yeah. And they handed me two. And now I'm just really happy with how it worked. Like... I'm just really happy it, like, worked out so amazing. It was so fun. And then afterwards, my dad's like, what do you think? And I'm like, I, truthfully, I cried. I, now, the funny thing is, I kind of made fun of this thing at one point. Like, I didn't really make fun of it. I just kind of went like, oh, that kind of point was, was like, I can print out a wavy thingy and then... Which, by the way, I'm so thankful, like, thank you to my parents, like, like, for making this because it happened and we spun a lot of money. Like, literally, like, I was in, in the, like, parking and, like, just, like, the parking, like, pass thing and the two tickets, that was, like, 170 and then to add on to that, add on $85 because between this thing and this thing, go check part one in this video like out. 
it was eighty five dollars. That was well fun. And like I I used this as a microphone, like I was waving it like I was so excited and uh, in my element having fun and and just living out my dreams and we got a JoJo exclusive talk uh because a JoJo exclusive LGBT talk. And that was great. And the reason I say that is because Jojo literally said something. And which was, she said that at every single night, she does a different talk about, like, being, like, I LGB, like, you, like, that situation, like, and basically just, like, being gay and, like, that sort of, like, thing. And she said that every single day she does a different talk because she's always changing, like, her thoughts on it. And that was, like, a lot of fun, like. So, I'm, like, that was just a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed it. And then we went, we picked up my mom, we came home. Sam got excited, and then I instantly, instantly, like, I, I literally just wiped my face and, like, kind of sneezed a little bit, and I found glitter on my hand now. I'm starting to realize I put an over-excessive amount of glitter, but then again, there's never too much glitter. <laughs> Sorry. But anyway, like, it was just a lot of fun. And, and, like, I just really enjoyed it. And then, like, there were no complaints, like, whatsoever that I could come up with. Like, it was just amazing. And I will say Squad Tour won. If it was, like, comparing, like, which one's better. Squad Tour won because Squad Tour had me up on stage, and, and my dad caught free merch. So, yeah, but it was a dream come true, like, a dream tour, like, I, and I just generally loved it, and I couldn't have loved it more, like, I feel like, I, it was just incredible. And, well, it's one of those that, like, also, Squad Tour had, like, an actual meet and greet, like, that I got to do, but that I can't blame that I'm not, I'm blaming, and I kind of can't blame them. Like, they had a meet and greet ticket. My dad looked into it, and we couldn't do it. It was $2,000 for a meet and greet ticket. Like, no. But it was still, the show, like, everything, it was just so much fun, and there's really no other way to say it, and then we came home, and then, well, actually, I transferred the confetti from my pockets into my other, like, my old dream tour jacket, it's going in retirement. I'm keeping it, but not going to be worn, considering I have a new dream tour sweatshirt situation, and I'm really excited for dance tonight. So that's going to be good. But later, like, it was just so much fun. And later on, I will post those photos on Instagram. Right now, Instagram is, like, messing up a little bit. And it's really annoying. So, yeah. Overall, I love Dream Tour. And that was that, like... Peace out.